Hello everybody, it's the Sun Sage and I am back to do your messages from your Divine Masculine. I am on the Earth Sign Divine Masculine. So if you are connecting to a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo Divine Masculine, these are the messages for you, okay? Um, if you are a Divine Masculine tuning into these messages, this could be confirmation for how you feel about your Divine Counterpart and things that you want to say to your Divine Counterpart. For those of you who need more insight or guidance in your situation with your Divine Masculine or Divine Counterpart, make sure you check out the description box for details on personal readings. All right, so I am going to get messages from your person, see what they want to say, what they're thinking um, about you. I'm going to start with the Taurus Divine Masculine. Um, these will be messages that I am channeling from your Taurus Divine Masculine and um, a little bit closer towards the end of their reading. I'm going to see how they're viewing you. Okay, so let's see what's going on with Taurus and what they want to say to you. Oh, okay. That one flipped out. I'm terrified you'll move on. I'm pretending. All right, we have a couple that came out. So we have I'm yours. We have I promise I'll be back. We have you consume my thoughts. And let's start over. All right, so I'm going to get Tarot to clarify these messages that they want you to know. I'm starting with uh, I'm terrified you'll move on. All right, we have uh, Six of Wands. I'm pretending clarified page of cups. I'm yours clarified by the ten of swords. I promise I'll be back clarified by the nine of wands, which has come out for a lot of the divine masculines. You consume my thoughts clarified by two, the king of wands and the empress. And let's start over, clarified by Eight of Pentacles. All right, so I'm terrified you'll move on. This Taurus Divine Masculine has already made a calculation that it is quite possible that with the amount of attention that you get, with the amount of suitors that you have, that it is quite possible that you will move on from them. Um, I think it. they are afraid that if they don't get it together, they don't figure out how to work things out with you, that you will move on to something. I, I, I don't think they want, I feel like you're what they want and I know they don't want what they want to get away. All right. So they can't let you get away here with this nine of cups because you are their wish. They're terrified that the person that they wish for the very person that has uh, made them feel these strong feelings and made them feel triumphant and victorious um, is the person that will get away. So that's how they're looking at you as the one that got away or the one that could get away if they don't get it together, right? So they're terrified that you'll move on because they see that you are probably not only somebody that they want and wish for, but somebody that others want and wish for as well, okay? So they've got some competition, I'm pretending with the Page of Cups. So this Taurus is um, showing up. It's kind of like an immature communica uh, communicator. Um, it's like they kind of tiptoe around what they really want to say to you, what they really feel about you. I feel like you got tired of that. I am going to get your energy towards the end or at least how they're seeing you. But I feel like with this Page of Cups, this is definitely them wanting to you know, come through with messages of, of feelings to you. Um, Emperor, it's like they want to, it's like they're pretending to be the page of cups. Like they don't have um, the words to say what they need to say, but they really are the emperor. They do have it in them. Emperor is also confirmation of divine masculine energy. So this is somebody who um, needs to mature with how they communicate. This is also someone who could really have a lot of areas of their life together, like their career. They could, you know, be financially okay, but they really do struggle um, and fall short when it comes to communicating and expressing their feelings. 
Um, I feel like them pretending with this emperor energy and this page of cups can also represent somebody who comes off a little bit more um, in control and in charge than they really are. Like they may kind of need you to take the lead in the connection, but they always come off as the person who's in control that may not have gotten this connection very far them being the leader of the connection. And so they are wanting to, um, they're wearing a mask right now. They're wearing a mask. And so that is stopping them from revealing their true self and their true feelings to you, at least at this time. So I'm yours showing up with the Ten of Swords. I feel like with the I'm yours message, they have already again made a calculation that you are the person that they want to be with. With this Ten of Swords, it feels like, again, they could be ruining that. You know, they could be um, facing a complete ending to your relationship. You may have already threatened to leave them. And this is something that's hurting them. Um, they could be a little bit weakened by the fact that you said you were going to leave them or the fact that you broke up with them. And so when they come to you, it's kind of like they may possibly come to you on bended knees. This person is not just wounded, they're completely like gone, you know? So your Taurus is feeling a, a loss of self, a sense that they cannot be who they truly are um, anymore because you have exited their life or, or they've been hurt by you leaving them or something like that. So let me clarify this message here. Um, it's like, I'm wounded, I'm a mess, I'm broken down, I have no, I, I don't know how I turn this around, but I am yours. So this, um, we have two com messages coming out confirming this Ten of Swords. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. These can represent Taurus energy. Um, they're being really selfish right now. Um, they're also letting you know that you can have them if you want them. They just feel like you're a little bit up in the air with that two of pentacles about if you still want them with that four of pentacles, if you even want to hold on to this. So they're, they're letting you know that they're yours. They want to kind of come in with something, give you something, but they are still holding back. That four of pentacles is holding back. That four of pentacles is, is, is holding back all the good stuff, all the valuable stuff that you've been wanting them to express and to show. They're not giving it away. It's almost like they're being stubborn and selfish and kind of in a Taurus kind of a stance where it's like, they know that something needs to change. They know that they need to turn this thing around, but it's almost like they're kind of acting like they don't know how with this two of pentacles. So it's, it's like you guys have been going back and forth. This is a cycle that you've experienced with them before. You're over it. And they kind of just want to want things to be as they were with you. And, and they want you to hold them and, and they want to be back in your life. But they are showing up as this Ten of Swords. <laughs> so I feel like you ended things with this Taurus or you are definitely thinking about it. So I promise I'll be back, all right, with the Nine of Wands. I feel like this is them letting you know that they're not done fighting for you. They're not done fighting for this connection. I also feel like this is an opportunity for them to try to regain their strength. They, If they're feeling weakened, like that Ten of Swords was looking, like they need to regather themselves. They need to get their fighting energy back up because this is not a small, this is no small thing winning you back over. All right. They know that you're a catch. They know that others are going to want you and they know that they have to come stronger or not at all. And so with that nine of wands, I do feel like they're determined to win you back over. Page of Pentacles, they're possibly going to be sending you a message. They're letting you know they're going to be back though. I saw that with the two of Pentacles. They're coming back. Um, For them, this cycle isn't completely over. I feel like when they come back though, they will come back stronger with this nine of wands and this page of Pentacles. They will come back letting you know that they've learned the lessons, they've they've finally figured out the steps that they want to take to move forward. I also feel like they're going to have something to offer you, all right? You guys may have gone through, I feel like you guys may be in a situation where you kind of recently had some rough patches in your connection. This isn't something that's been ongoing, 
Um, but I do feel like recently, you know, maybe temporarily you guys had some setbacks. And so what they're letting you know is they're going to start small, but it is going to be something that is stable with this page of pentacles. <clears throat> you consume my thoughts. So definitely with the king of wands and the empress, you are consuming their thoughts. We now have the king of, we, we now have the emperor and the empress here. So you are their match. This is divine feminine energy. Um, I feel like they want to conquer your heart. Like you're a catch. Yes, we saw that, <laughs> you know, with the nine of cups and, and, and the, uh, the six of wands, you get a lot of attention, all right? You take really good care of yourself. There are a lot of people with their eyes on you. Some of you could even be models, all right? And you're just somebody that they can't stop thinking about. You're somebody that they know others will gladly be grateful enough to have and, and do the right thing for. And I feel like with this king of wands, they are taking on this fire energy where they want to show you as opposed to kind of telling you what they want to do and, and, and how far they want to take this connection. They want to show you. They also could want to, they could, what could be consuming their thoughts is also um, thinking about you in intimate situations right? And fantasizing about you. There's a fantasy element to you that this person has. I don't have the devil out here, but it could be seen as a little obsessive, but you're definitely somebody that's constantly on their mind and somebody that they're always thinking about. And they can't wait to like come towards you. I feel like they're going to move very quickly this time around. This Taurus. Taurus is can be very careful about their movements and very cautious, but I think they've already made up their minds that you're the one that they want. And so when they come in, they're going to make sure their energy matches the level and the type of person that you are. They're, they're going to assume this high energy, king of wands, passionate driven personality because you're an empress. You don't have to chase. They're going to chase you. You don't have to chase, but they see that you're being chased by others and that others want you. So they don't want to miss out. All right. So let's start over. They definitely want to start over. I feel like you broke up with them. Okay. That's the sense that I'm getting in this. I feel like you broke up with them or you, um, you told them you were done or something and they tried to act like they didn't care. Okay. And so now they're like coming back, like, I want to start over with this eight of pentacles. We already have so much that we've already built together. We already have so many months or years behind us that we have history together. Let's, let's continue building on what we already have. We're almost at the 10 of pentacles. We almost had it. Let's not let that go to waste. Right. So I feel like that's something that they're going to be coming in trying to communicate to you. So three of pentacles. Let's fix. Yeah. Definitely fixing this. All right. You guys have a really strong connection. You have a really strong foundation already built. Sometimes in the collective, these divine partnerships, it's like they're just trying to get to the beginning stages of their union. I do feel like here there is somewhat of an established union here, or at least a um, understanding that this is where the connection was headed. And so they don't want to stop working. Like they're like they're very comfortable with you. They are used to you. They want to continue working on this. They want to continue fixing this and making this better and growing. All right. So let me see how your Taurus is feeling about you or how they're viewing you. I think we see that with the Empress. You know, your their wish come true with the Nine of Cups as well. Queen of Swords. Five of Cups, Seven of Cups. So they could see you as kind of confusing right now. So you're definitely the Empress to them, right? But with the Queen of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups, I feel like they see you as putting on this. This they feel like you're probably putting on a facade yourself, like you're coming off as the Queen of Swords and. Um, I don't need you and I don't, um, I, I'm not dealing with you anymore. I've broken up with you, but that you really do miss them. 
I think they see through that. If that is a facade that you're putting up, they really see through this queen of swords. They know that you're nobody to be played with. They do know that. All right. You could be a Libra connecting to a, a Aquarius. I mean, I'm sorry, a, a Taurus. But they do they do see that you are not to be played with. And with this five of cups, I think they understand that you are sad. Um, they're hoping that you don't regret dealing with them. I think there is. Um, some confusion there about how you truly feel about them. They're kind of in the dark about that because you you closed up shop. You're not really communicating with them um, in the ways that you have in the past because you're a great communicator. You can express yourself just fine, but I feel like you've closed that door on them. So with this five of cups, they either see you as kind of starting to soften up, be vulnerable and regretting that, or they see you as missing what you guys had but not wanting it back and that's why we have the seven of cups this confusion um you could have even communicated to them i miss you but i'm not going back to the way that things were or i miss you but i, I there's no way i'm putting up with what what i was putting up with anymore and so with that seven of cups it's like they see you still in this like fantasy as this fantasy person, right? But they also see you as having some decisions to make of your own, having some choices to make and also having options back to that, back to you having people that you know that you could be with. Um, They see that you get attention. They see that others want you. And so it's not like, it's like you're an unattainable dream to them. Like you're somebody who has, who has put your guards up and so they can't get close to you right now like they used to. And that's something that bothers them. But I think they see you as going back and forth between whether you miss them so much that you're willing to give them another chance and whether you just want to focus on your options and see what else is out there. All right. So that is what I have for those of you connecting to a Taurus divine and masculine guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if that resonated with you. Also, um, if you need a personal reading, make sure you check out the uh, details in the description box and I will talk to you guys soon. Hello guys, this is for those of you connecting to a Virgo, Divine Masculine. So if your Virgo is Virgo, can't, uh, ugh, Virgo, Sun, the Moon, Venus, are rising, these messages are for you. If you are a Virgo Divine Masculine, these messages could confirm that this is how you feel and that you're feeling about your divine counterpart or things that you want to say to your divine counterpart. All right. So Virgo, let's see what your Virgo wants to say to you. Cool. All right, so we have loving you scares me. We have, this is the deepest connection I've ever felt. We have, I respect you so much. These are really good energy so far from your Virgo. I do it for us. You are the sexiest. And we have depression is kicking my ass. All right, so let's get into these messages from your Virgo. Loving you scares me. All right, let's see what that what shows up with that. Mm, nine of Swords. This is the deepest connection I've ever felt. Page of Wands. I respect you so much. Power. I do it for us. King of Pentacles. You are the sexiest. <clears throat> Eight of Cups. And depression is kicking my ass. Hierophant. All right, so let's get started with um, loving you scares me. So... This is someone who is opening up their heart to you, and that is a very frightening prospect for them. Clarified by the Nine of Swords, this is something that they think about all the time. Their heart has been awakened, but also their fears have been awakened. 
this is probably something that they've been fearing for a long time. What if I get close to someone and I get hurt again? What if I get close to someone that I love and I end up hurting them like I have hurt people in the past? So this person has a lot of worries about being this open and being this in love. Okay. They know they, but they're acknowledging that they love you, but they're also acknowledging that they have a fear of this. Um, and this could be something that kind of hinders them from fully expressing their love and fully taking it to the next level. <clears throat> Page of Swords. They're still in the stages of trying to understand these feelings. They're trying to understand these feelings. They're trying to understand you. I think they want to learn you. I think they want to know more about you. I think that this is, you know, starting to get to know each other a little bit more. This is the part that scares them the most. Um, because some people, it's like, what if I start liking this person and then they switch up? Guys have those feelings too, or divine masculines have those energies too. So this is something that this person is really, can be really timid about. And so they kind of stay in the shadows in the background, kind of watching you from afar, but they really think about you and this connection all the time and their feelings. Um, but they definitely are terrified of these feelings. Okay. This is the deepest connection your Virgo has ever felt, all right? They are letting you know that I am feeling very strongly for you. Um, this is the deepest that it's ever gotten. With this page of wands, this is new territory. This is new territory for them. This is something new. It feels exciting. They probably get butterflies when they think about you. They probably get really excited about the, the future with you. Um, but this is also, you know, not really moving too quickly. The Page of Wands is, is kind of having the ideas, kind of sending messages and hints that they're feeling you or that they have feelings for you, but they're not really going all out you know, right now at least. So this page of wands is a very youthful energy where it's like kind of like teenage love, you know, like it feels like high school, sweet 16. Like these are the feelings that you make them feel. And this is something new for them. This is something new. This is either something they've never felt before or something they haven't felt in a very long time. All right. So let's clarify that. <clears throat> Six of cups. Something they haven't felt in a very long time, but it is pure, all right? The fact that there are children in these cards lets me know that they this is a pure connection, right? This is something that they feel from their soul. It's not superficial or based on superficial reasons or based on how they're physically attracted to you. Yes, they can be physically attracted to you, but what they love about you most is how young and youthful you make them feel on the inside. All right. Um, so the six of, of cups is a soulmate connection. So the, this is confirming this is the deepest connection I've ever felt. This is a twin flame soulmate con connection confirmation. And so it feels very new to them. This journey is very new to them, but it feels like they're excited to take this journey with you. I respect you so much. All right. You're somebody who has earned this Virgo's respect. Okay, this showed up with the tower. So I want to get a confirming message for that. But I feel like it was unexpected. They weren't expecting to feel this way. And so, you know, we see that it's new territory. This was shocking for them. This showed up with the moon. Some of you will be cancers. This will really resonate if you're a cancer because we also have the six of cups. We have cups energies here. Um, So they're respecting you. You are a unexpected force in their life. You're definitely a force. You have moved them to change, to discover these emotional depths with the moon there that they didn't even realize that they had. I think you've also been able to, they've also been able to uncover some things about themselves that they were insecure about with that moon energy. They weren't expecting that. They have a lot of respect for the things that you brought out of them. So you're already making them feel these feelings of love and you're already making them want to do more research on, you know, what this journey is all about. You're also making them go deeper within to kind of feel what 
really feel these changes that they're experiencing because of these feelings that they have for you. They respect you for that. Okay. So I do it for us showing up with the King of Pentacles. Yeah, this is earth energy. This is your person letting you know that they have you in mind when they're at work. They have you in mind when they're starting their business and when they're making money and when they're saving money and when they're making purchases or making investments. This is all with you in mind. This is somebody who is focused on the family or focused on being a good husband or a good partner. And so your king of pentacles, your person is the king of pentacles and they're doing it for you, for your connection. All right. They want to make sure they're safe, stable and solid. Whoa. Okay. So we have the five of wands. They, I feel like they beat the competition. All right. I feel like if you had somebody you were dealing with, they were not intimidated by them. They were making sure they came out victorious and won your heart over. Um, I also feel like them doing it for you is, is when they're having these challenges in their life uh, that could be happening at work, when they're going through something, they fight. Okay, they don't just give up with this five of wands. They make sure they fight because they know that they want the reward to be able to reward you. They want to be able to buy you things. They want to be able to, yes, give you material things, but they also want to be like somebody that you can just rely on. And so they not only just beat out the competition, but this Virgo is also letting you know that they will continue to fight and be determined and do what needs to be done so that they can make this union the union of like both of your dreams. You are the sexiest with the eight of cups. Uh, this makes me feel like they love to see you walk away. <laughs> so this eight of cups is, I think that they, again, more cups energies. You could definitely be, you know, someone with uh, water in your chart that there's a vulnerability with you and um, a sense of, you're not afraid of emotions. You're not afraid. You don't fear emotional depths. You're very comfortable in that in that space. And so they find that very sexy. If you did walk away from this person in the past, I think that is also what helped them gain this respect for you, that you weren't going to stick around when you weren't being treated correctly. And so if you guys are coming back together or if they're planning to come back towards you, they keep this in mind, the fact that you... You know, you're too sexy to let go. You're not somebody that they want to see walk away from them again. And I'm going to confirm that message, but I feel like um, you have an ability to, five of pentacles, you have an ability to walk away from things that aren't serving you that they find very sexy. So while they may be physically attracted to you, they're also attracted to like your values and your morals. The fact that you set standards for yourself and you stick to those standards. With this five of pentacles confirming this message with this eight of cups, I think, again, they find your vulnerability very sexy. If you've had to go through a lot of your adult life alone, or if you've struggled um, with relationships, or if you've always given more than you've gotten in return with that five of cups and people just left you hanging, left you filling out in the cold, they think it's sexy that you've been able to rebound from that and remain strong from that. But there is a sense that you're like kind of like a damsel that they want to save, like they want to be your knight in shining armor. Um even if that's not like an appropriate way to look at it, like you need saving, it's something that they feel like they want to do for you. They want to take the burden off of you and, and have you relax and have them kind of like take care of everything with this pin, uh, King of Pentacles energy. All right. If you have struggled financially, all right, that's why they do. That's why they work so hard. Is because they don't want you to have to struggle financially. They don't want to have to uh, see you, you know, struggling with money. They want to, you know, treat you and reward you and, and again, take the burden off of you. Okay, so depression is kicking my ass uh, with the Hierophant. So while your Virgo, Divine Masculine, is 
dealing with all of these new feelings of love and wanting to get closer to you and do things for you. They're also struggling with their own internal battles. We kind of saw that with the tower and the uh, the moon, right? Their world is being shaken up and, and they're also going through their own personal journey um, with the Hierophant. This, um, you know, this is a depression could be about how they feel about relationships again they don't want to let you down this person may have been married in the past and the, all they can think about is how that marriage didn't last or how that committed relationship didn't work out and so this is not something that they want to happen this time around they want this solid foundation to lead to marriage and to lead to kids and to lead to like the whole family structure with this Hierophant, I feel like they're also seeking advice, like a therapist. They're seeking a spiritual advice or they're going to a therapist or they're seeking help. They're just seeking help in general. You know, that may have been something that they may not have been open to in the past, but they're definitely considering it now or they're actively pursuing that now because of love. Because of their love for you with the Ace of Cups. They want marriage with you. You're the person that heals them. And I, I also feel like you two kind of bond and connect off of the, the the hurt and pain that you guys have both experienced in relationships. That's a lot of relationships. You know, you have similar histories of disappointment. But I feel like this is really your glue. You know, there's a strong sense of loyalty here to this connection because you've both been through the same thing. And it's almost like you both feel like you don't want to put each other through what you guys have been through. And so there's a sense that this this connection is being led by love. On both of on both of your parts, they're depressed, but they're healing. And I feel like this connection is what's healing them. All right. So let's see how your Virgo Divine Masculine is viewing you. Okay, let's see how they're viewing you. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the High Priestess. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. I was expecting to see that because of the loyalty here. So, yeah. Um, you are a great listener. You understand your Virgo, Divine Masculine. Um, I think you show appreciation towards them or you've made them feel appreciated in some type of way. Like you've either communicated that you appreciate having them in your life. You're telepathically connected to them. Like you guys can feel each other. And with the Queen of Pentacles, there's this sense of loyalty there. Also, remember, they are the King of Pentacles. So you guys are a pair. You guys are a very strongly, a, a soulfully, strongly bounded pair. Okay. Um, you can take care of yourself. You've been able to manage, but I think they want to come in again and kind of like take that load off your shoulder. All right. You're somebody who has a lot to bring to the table. You're very powerful. You have a very powerful hold over them with this page of pentacles. Again, I feel like you've already communicated to them through messages, how you feel them and how you appreciate them. And um, I, I think they view you as somebody who is appreciative and somebody who's a good listener and somebody who is very spiritually strong and spiritually sound. So it helps them want to be that way as well. And as far as advice, you could be the person advising them. But that higher font, you could be the person that they go to for help or the person that they go to for some sort of higher um, guidance. OK. All right, guys. So that is what I have for those of you connecting to a Virgo divine masculine. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, guys, for more messages like this. I will talk to you soon. Um, if you need a personal reading, make sure you check out the details in the description box. Thanks again. Hey guys. Okay. So this is for those of you who are connecting to a Capricorn divine masculine. So this will be messages and, and, um, channelings from Capricorn 
sun, moon, Venus, and rising divine masculine. All right. So I want to get a good shuffle. Okay. Um, if you are a Capricorn divine masculine, these are messages that could be confirming how you are feeling about your divine counterpart. All right. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to take a look at these messages here that I have created to see what your Capricorn Divine Masculine wants to say to you. And then I'm going to clarify those messages with the tarot. All right, so let's see what your Capricorn Divine Masculine wants to say. So we have family issues are keeping me from you. All right, that's been in a couple of the Divine Masculine's uh, issues. We have, I'm trying so hard. All right, we have, you hurt me. We have, okay, two came out. I'm going to marry you and I know you love me. And we have, why are you silent? <laughs> so I'm not going to lie. Your Capricorn had me in the first half, <laughs> but it looks like it gets a little bit better. So let's get into it. Um, family issues are keeping me from you. So let's clarify the, these messages and then I'll get into it. All right. Family issues are keeping me from you. Temperance. I'm trying so hard. Chariot. You hurt me, will of fortune. I'm going to marry you, emperor. I know you love me, six of swords. And why are you silent? Four of cups. So starting with family issues are keeping me from you. This, um, this Capricorn has a lot of responsibility and a lot of people that rely on them. So what they're letting you know right now is that they're going through a lot that, you know, is involving their family. Um, with temperance, they could be the peacemaker in their family if they're having like issues, um, if they're dealing with like some severe family issues or someone is sick or anything. They are the person that kind of keeps everyone together or at least they're playing that role. And so this is what they have put their focus on to healing their family issues. All right. Thinking about the long term, they could need to heal these issues before they bring in a new member of the family, i.e. you, because um, if there's a fracture, it could impact your relationship negatively. And so they could be wanting to resolve these issues before they bring you around. All right. So confirming that is the Ace of Cups. Definitely. They're solving these issues for the sake of love. So family issues are keeping them from you, but it's not stopping them from loving you. It's not, it has, it has no impact whatsoever on the love that they feel for you here. It's just that they are the medicine, so to speak. They are what is keeping their family together. Whatever the deeper issues that are going on with the family situation, they are what's keeping it together. And I think that they are motivated to continue to do this because they are eager to start this new relationship with you with that Ace of Cups. All right, but it's kind of like first things first. So I'm trying so hard with the chariot. Yeah, I mean, this this Capricorn is trying to, you know, go towards their purpose and, and follow their ambitions. And they just have so much on their plate with this chariot here. Some of you can be cancers. Um, this person can have cancer in their chart. But your Capricorn is definitely somebody who is striving for the best in every aspect of their life and it's taking a lot out of them but they have a lot of horsepower you know so to speak and and I feel like they have a lot of help um around them or they could feel like they want you to be more a part of this journey and trying so hard they could feel like the reason why it feels like a struggle in a way is because they don't have their partner seven of swords so I feel like this is this is like, yeah, I feel like this is kind of confirming the message that if they are saying they don't need help or if they are acting as if they can handle things on their own without being too burdened, I think that's a lie. 
with this seven of swords. I think that is a lie. And that is why they are trying so hard because they need help. Um, I do feel like they feel like they don't want to burden you. Even if you don't feel like they would be burdening you by, you know, asking for assistance in some way or just being more supportive, I feel like they think they're going to burden you. And so they don't. And so that turns into a seven of swords situation where it feels like they're hiding things because they're not being totally upfront because they don't want to burden you with the issues that are going on in their life. It's like, you know, that they're hiding something though. And it could feel like, you know, something more extreme than it is but because you don't know it's like you you have these scenarios in your head because they haven't been upfront about what it is that they're dealing with and just how hard it is for them so you hurt me with the will of fortune did you change <laughs> um this feels like you switched up on them in some way um even if it wasn't a malicious thing even if it wasn't something where you're being fake or you're hiding something it feels like you changed in a in a good way um for the better you changed your life for the better and i feel like that hurt them maybe they felt left out i'm gonna see what what a confirming message comes out yeah they felt left out so if you are yourself very ambitious and you also have a lot on your plate and, and you go after what you want, it could feel like there's a distance between the two of you because you are both in the path of, you know, you have these things going on in your life that are keeping you apart and they're missing you. Um, them letting you know that you hurt them. Um, this feels like they, they miss you. They definitely want to address some things. They could have some assumptions about maybe you moved on from them with somebody else with that three of cups there. They could have like, they could be very suspicious. All right. You could be dealing with a Capricorn who doesn't, who doesn't trust easy. And they have these suspicions. They may even feel like the more you grow and the further ahead you get in life, you'll leave them behind and, and you'll, you know, get with other people something here about this makes them sad and this is hurtful to them um they don't want you to leave them behind so i'm going to marry you with the emperor well the emperor is the husband this is confirmation of a divine masculine this emperor wants to be your husband all right. This emperor wants to be the person that you can rely on this. They want to be the leader of your connection. They want to take charge. They're very ambitious and they're very um, they've already gone after a lot of things that they want and they want to just be able to conquer your heart as well. All right. With that emperor energy, some of you are Aries. All right, so confirming that is the King of Pentacles, more husband energy. This is actually an amazing energy for them saying they want to marry you or they're going to marry you, not they want to marry you. They're already manifesting that that's what's going to happen. And so these messages confirming that it's a very good sign that they're on the right track and that they're taking this very seriously. Okay, um, this is definitely somebody who has already planned to be the father of your children, somebody who has already planned um, the financial aspects of what it's going to take to be married to you. They have already started their their journey of, of what needs to be done, which is why we see them trying to heal family issues, because they don't need that to be um, a reason why your relationship struggles, you know, you guys are going to have struggles as a couple as it is. And so what they're trying to do is take control of their life as out of control as it can seem at times and as insecure as they can come off emotionally. They're trying to get control of these things now because they definitely want to take care of you. They want to take care of you. They want to be able to give you material things and they want to be a great support system for you. So you'll never want for anything. So I know you love me. They know that you feel the same about them. With this Six of Swords, this feels like a peace of mind. Like this is a peaceful thought for them. You know, the, the Six of Swords can represent peacefully moving away from, from drama and peacefully moving into calmer waters. Um, and so it feels like you're a, a breath of fresh air for them. You're a, it's a sense that they have um, calmer like they're calm knowing that you love them all right this gives them peace of mind 
that they're able to move through life um, because they feel emotionally supported by you. Three of Cups, they feel emotionally supported by you. They feel like you are somebody who has their back. You guys have a good friendship. Okay, I see that here. You guys have a good friendship. Um, you could share mutual friends or you could have met that way. But there is something here about you guys have fun together. They know that they can move on with you in peace if things don't work out with the family. It's just something here about them seeing you as somebody that they can move forward to move forward with and have a good life with, have happiness with. They also want to reconcile. They know that you love them. They want to come together with this three of cups. They want to converse. They want to share feelings here. All right. So why are you silent? <laughs> it's like they have all these feelings for you and you guys aren't talking about it. With the four of cups, it kind of feels like they're being rejected. And so that's another reason they could feel hurt. Again, if they feel like you've moved on, if they're not reading you right, like I'm going to take a look and see how they're viewing you. But it feels like they're not reading your your behavior in the right way like they feel like you've moved on from them they feel like you don't feel for them like you don't love them anymore and so this feels like um possibly they're thinking about you being with somebody else with that three of cups and that's why you haven't talked to them okay so let's confirm that message judgment all right so I think that the situation that you guys are in is coming, it's, it's reached, it's, it's reached its pinnacle. Like it's reached ahead. Like something has to be done. You guys are going to have to come back together with this judgment. This is returning to each other. We even see that with the three of, of cuts, this reconciliation. Why are you silent? Um, I feel like they're going to take charge with that emperor and that king of pentacles and come back around. Um, they also are wanting some sort of kind of like divine intervention, right? Because they can't take it anymore. This judgment feels like they've already made their decision, what they want with you in their life. And they're, they're tired of feel, feeling like this four of cups, like nothing ever works out. And I'm, I'm tired of being insecure and thinking that this person has moved on from me. It's like, you're right there. You know, you're right there with that cup of love and it's almost like they, um, it's like they need a, a, um, a grasp of hope. It's another way I want to say it, but it's like they just need something. Like they'll, they'll, as soon as they know for sure that this is what you want to, they're, they're going to take it. Right. So they just need some like jolt of energy. To, to let them know that you're still in this the way that they're still in this because remember they want to marry you all right so let me see how they're they're viewing you how is your capricorn divine masculine viewing you knight of pentacles <laughs> knight of cups nine of wands so they view you as very patient. They view you as very patient. They view you as very romantic. They also view you as very strong, All right? You are someone who does not like to rush things. You are very romantic and very like you have these um, romantic feelings and this kind of fairy tale way of seeing romance with the Knight of Cups and, and just really kind of youthful in in your feel when it comes to your feelings and and expressing yourself but you're also very strong and i think they see you as somebody who's not going to give up on them even if they let themselves fall into these moments of doubt and moments of insecurity about you moving on to someone else i think they see you as somebody who you're going to stand pretty firm to protect this connection um, the Knight of Pentacles is representing um, your energy by showing that you are somebody who takes this very seriously. You know, the reason why you don't move so quickly when it comes to this connection is because you're understanding that your person needs patience. And with the Knight of Cups, you're also understanding that they need emotional support. Um, you want to come in with love and you want to offer them some. They see that. They see that you want to show your love, but you may hold yourself back. Right. In order to protect the connection, because um, if they are unable to give you what you need um, right now, energetically, it could trigger like this five of cups energy um, of you both feeling like you're 
or this four of cups energy where you're both feeling like you're missing out on something with one another, like, you know, inadequacies. So I think they see you as somebody having, as having a lot of patience. You still have love for them. They, I think they feel your love. I think they know that you have feelings invested here. I think they also know that you are in your own way, very guarded. All right. You're very strong. And um, I think you'll let those guards down and let that barrier down when the time is right. But, you know, I don't feel like you're giving up on this connection. And I think they see it as that. All right, guys. So that's what I have for those of you connecting to a Capricorn Divine Masculine. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if this resonated with you guys. And if you need a more personal, detailed reading, make sure you check out the description box and I will talk to you guys soon.